on BBC Radio 2. This is Love Songs with Michael Ball on BBC Radio 2. Between that world, the two Germanys, as they become one, again, the civil services and administrations will be unified, the zillion items of expenditure, great and small, will have to be reviewed. Somewhere in among the lists will be the upkeep of the great cemetery of the grave of Karl Marx. Perhaps the decision will be to continue as before. He may rest easy, or then again, he may not. We acknowledge that his grave will continue to be kept in its monumental glory by the capitalist Deutschmarks, the system which he failed against in life, but which sustains his memory in death. nature mystery been now ignored by the other hapless Sunday programmes. When our listener Barney sent us some slow radio, he promised us frogs which sound like motorbikes, and this is totally normal. But we wondered why do they suddenly stop? Day. BBC Radio Stoke. Remember the heroes of Staffordshire and Cheshire. Oh, the story of one the surviving do you know what I'm similar and then and then you're, the next day Adam you're on cup duty do you know what I mean? You're then realising, oh yes, now I've just brought loads of cups into the bedroom. Right, shall we have one more? Brendan, finish up on a good one, please. There will be no fish in my house. Is that it? Brendan, is it? <laughs> there will be no fish in my house. Okay. Setting down the rules now. Well, listen, I asked and I received. Thank you for that. Whether you're hiding a cockroach... Whether you've created a mystery man to help you wee at tonight, or you're not allowing the fish in your house, that is your decision. BBC Radio. One. One. I didn't eat that girl for lunch, yeah, she dances on the tongue. She said she might be the one. Beautiful song, Garth Brooks, If Tomorrow Never Comes. This is Love Songs with Michael Ball. Thanks so much for joining me. This is BBC Radio 2. On BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Catherine Cracknell. Sir Keir Starmer's promised to cut the level of net migration to the UK if his party wins the general election. 
The Labour leader said he'd introduce new laws to train British workers to place skills gaps in the job market and strengthen anti-exploitation laws. Speaking on Sunday with Laura Koonsberg, the Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper wouldn't be drawn on setting a target but explained how their plans would work. We support the measures that the government has introduced in recent months and some further restrictions on visas but we're also saying you've got to get to the heart of it, mm -hmm. you've got to tackle those skills shortages and we're setting up a new system that would link the immigration system mm -hmm. and skills and training plans, workforce plans in the key sectors that are driving this. The Health Secretary Victoria Atkins told the programme the government's plan to build more GP practices in England would bring healthcare closer to communities. Setting out their health pledges today, the Conservatives say they also want to expand the number of treatments offered by pharmacies. The Liberal Democrats are promising to reverse cuts to public health grants for local councils. The SNP leader John Swinney will formally launch their party's general election campaign today. At a rally in Glasgow, he'll urge people to vote SNP to put Scotland's interests first and will say independence offers the country a better future. Two right-wing ministers have threatened to withdraw from Israel's coalition government if Benjamin Netanyahu agrees to a ceasefire deal in Gaza. The plan was put forward by President Biden on Friday. Hamas has said it would agree to the deal if Israel did. Our international editor Jeremy Bowen says that seems unlikely right now. First of all, there was a fairly accepting kind of message to the Prime Minister's office in Israel. Then a, a, one that reiterated that they want this total victory objective, which quite a lot of people now say is absolutely impossible. Biden himself said in his speech that Hamas is not capable of doing what it did on 7th of October, by which he meant end the war now. Cricket and the United States has beaten Canada by seven wickets in the opening match of the T20 World Cup. Aaron Jones struck 94 from 40 balls as the co-host chased a victory target of 195 in Dallas. After the win, Jones paid tribute to his team. I think right now the team is in a good place. Um, we have some great players, to be honest with you. Um, and we just want to keep winning as much as possible. Of course, you can't win every single game for the rest of our lives. But we want to win as many games as possible and we want to beat as many teams as possible and really show the world that USA really have great cricketers here in the country. China's landed an uncrewed spacecraft on the far side of the moon for the second time. The probe's expected to use a drill and a mechanical arm to collect rock and soil. And the weather cloudy in parts of Scotland, dry and generally sunny elsewhere. Highs reaching between 18 and 23 degrees. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past ten. Now, this is Love Songs. With Michael Ball. Hello, my...